So now in this episode, we are going to replicate one of our VMs as a demo purpose from our Node 1 host machine. So let's begin with the implementation. So for that purpose, I need to click on the replicate button over here and I need to select Hyper-V machines to Azure as I'm going to move my, uh, I'm going to replicate my Hyper-V VM to Azure. So I click on the third option and I select my site location over here and click on the next button. So here I'm going with the default options. As I discuss, I have already created virtual network over here and same resource group configure uh, uh, is, is selected, which we configured previously. So click on the next button. And when we click, I just need to uh, type the name of that VM, which I want to replicate on ASR infrastructure. So I'm going to uh, replicate this VM. So I select it and click on the next button. And here you can see, I need to select some options before uh, before the replication of this selected VM. So here, OS type. So when I click on the drop down list, I need to select the Windows. If you have a Linux VM, so definitely you will go with the Linux option as well. And here you can see, I have uh, uh, manage disk option. So as per your own requirements, you need to select a premium SSD, a standard SSD or a standard HDD. So I'm going with the standard HDD option and here, uh, storage account because definitely this VM will be stored on my storage account. So I need to select that one as well. So I, I'm going to uh, select the EBIS SADB, which is my storage account, which previously created. Although this storage account uh, creation is beyond the scope of this course, but still I'll attach the document with the help of uh, that document. You can easily create your storage account as well. So here now I'm going to uh, change this VM name and it will be a short time EVCA 2012 or I can uh, uh, type a new uh, name if I want to change the existing name as well. So a uh, few, uh, few options which require over here, I have done with all the options. Now I need to click on the next button. When I click on the next button, here is the important thing uh, where you need to create the, uh, where you need to select the replication policy here i have a replication policy already created in the coming episode i will show you how you can create your own replication policy as per your customer requirement as per your vm requirement or as per your organization requirement as well right now the policy which i am going to uh, utilize uh, for the purpose of replication with this vm is uh, like you can see copy frequency is five minutes. So within 300 seconds, this VM will be automatically replicated to my ASR infrastructure. If any kind of change occur uh, on my on-premise uh, virtual machine, so this uh, these all kinds of changes will be automatically replicated within five minutes. And uh, recovery uh, point retention, how many points you want to uh, retain uh, as per as per your own requirements, it might be you can contain uh, three replication options, five replication options, or um, uh, as per your uh, own uh, recommended settings, you can go with all these options. So I just select three hours. You can uh, you can uh, maintain my retention point for three hours, and after three hours, this uh, uh, retention point will be automatically deleted. So just need to click on the next button and here you can see now all the required options uh, have been successfully completed so you want to enable the replication just click on the re enable replication button and if you want to change anything you can go previous as well so i'm just going to click on the enable replication button over here and here you can see process initiated when i click on the replication process here you can see enable replication all the information is going uh, uh, with the uh, with the simple steps and now prerequisites check for enabling the protection is went successfully now other uh, processes are ongoing and as uh, we done with the all processes successfully then definitely our selected vm will be a start replication to microsoft Azure. So I'm going to pause the video and when this process completed, I will show you uh, the next option, how we can verify uh, this replication process as well.
now you can see uh, that all steps are verified successfully and this process initiated and here if you want to see the message here successfully completed the operation so now this vm started replication so we can also verify from our uh, security vault as well let's move with the uh, host configuration and see is there any changes occur over here here you can see when i uh, click on the ebca machine so it's uh, replication enable replication here we go it means that the process is initiated and if i click on uh, this vm and here you can see if i want to view replication health so here you can see all things are going well and size of data yet to be replicated is almost 5.53.4 3 GB. So uh, in, the, in the coming episodes, when this machine is completely replicated, we will verify on our uh, host uh, machine and uh, definitely on ASR infrastructure as well. So let's move with the next episode.